YouTube channels, man. Two YouTube channels if you guys are looking for content for your current gen. As far as your PlayStation 4 and your Xbox One, it will be on Black Rain 4 2. And if you guys are looking for your newer gen, which is your next gen content, it shall be on Black Rain 4. Videos will be dropping on both channels every single day. Yeah, yeah, big storm coming, black rain coming, first in the world, tell me who won it, winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee, I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep, big storm coming, black rain coming, first in the world, tell me who won it, winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee, I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep. Big storm coming, black rain coming, first in the world, tell me who won it, winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee, I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep. Big storm coming, black rain coming, first in the world, tell me who won it, winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee, I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep. Alright man, so today we're gonna use the Steelers. We're gonna try to lock it in with the Steelers, man. Um... Let's see, who slow running backs. Najee Harris should be higher than 83 overall. Maybe like 87-ish. Um, 95, 91, 91 speed receivers. Um, tight end. Pat should be a little bit higher, like 87 overall. Um, did y'all know you're talking to put linebackers in at tight end? I remember back in like Madden 21, I used to, I, I played with the the Cardinals, and I put Isaiah Simmons at tight end, 93 speed. It was lit. Um, corners, now, I know their DBs are pretty slow. 92, 91, 93. Okay, let's see how we're going to do this. Um, Mika Fitzpatrick, you good at man-to-man, -man, bro? Are you a good man-to-man -man safety? Because I'm going to need you playing some man-to-man. -man. 80? 80, we'll leave you there. That's, that's actually pretty perfect. So I can, so in a slot, I can actually put 93 and sit in 91 somewhere else, didn't I? Must have been Mika Fitzpatrick. Okay. Um, um, let's go Witherspoon. And then here, we're going to go. Um, Wait a minute, didn't I just see like a 92 speed dude? Edmonds. Timeout. Oh, that's what I'm Jackson. Okay, so who's my other line? My bad, it's it taking a while to set this up, but I need y'all to see how I be setting this shit up for real. Um, okay, Minka Fitzpatrick might not. I don't like linebackers in there, honestly. I don't like linebackers in the in the game. Unless they're off the edge. 87. All right. Um, rushing off the edge, we got Cameron Hayward's right in. Wow. TJ Watt. No, nah, Cameron Hayward's going in the middle. No, no, no. And then off the edge, we're going to go uh, Miles Jack. So three stars on the D-line. And the slot, we're going to go... Yeah, I know Pickens ain't playing for me, bro. I know. I hear. I heard you through the. I heard you through the through the, through the TV, bro. You got Pickens? I know, bro. Just relax. Najee Harris. Najee Harris. So corners. Okay, Wallace. Ain't Wallace hard in the slot? No, he ain't in the slot. Bad. Okay, so now I just need my user. My user's gonna be, user gonna be, wow. Actually, my user's gonna be Wallace, bro. No, I'll, I'll stick with 80. I'll stick with 88. Cameron Sutton. All right, man. Let's lock it in. We've got a very, 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 very interesting topic of conversation today. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Um, I know I'm gonna enjoy it. And uh, what? 69 offense? Wow. Wow, 69 offense. I know I'm going to enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, learn something new, man. Learn something new and learn how the world actually works. All right, man. So if you really rock with me, man, head over to Rain Gang Kennels. Hit that follow button. Enjoy the journey. Keep up with me and the pups.
I got Darby Party, man. Darby Party is fire at the game. I played Darby Party a while ago. Darby Party can actually play, so this is gonna be a GG. Um, Darby Party usually plays. I think last time I played Darby Party, he played with the Bucks, but I don't know. I think Darby Party plays a little weird though. Once Darby Party like get up or something, he like to run the ball and chew clock type shit. So I don't know if he's still playing like that, but we'll see. But check this out. I had a couple people message me on Instagram like, yo, bro, have you seen this dog that they're selling for $250,000? And I was like, yeah, I've seen that dog before. And it is a French Bulldog. Now, the guy who's selling it, he's an exotic dog breeder, which means he likes to get the most exotic dogs and sell them. Now, what makes this dog special past the line yeah fucking right what make this dog special is the fact that it is mixed with a husky it's a Frenchy mixed with a husky so the way that actually works is you get a the way it works is you get a a female husky good ball you get a female husky which is you know kind of tall and you have a French Bulldog, which is, you know, one of them little, these little smaller things, right? Which is the, which are the little smaller things. And you breed them. And um, what, what he ended up getting was a, a dog with a husky body, you know, furry husky body with a Frenchy face. And Frenchy ears, and I don't know if people know, but the the fluffy Frenchies are, you know, in style right now. You know, there's people buying and selling uh, fluffy Frenchies for twenty five thousand, you know, fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar dogs, hundred thousand dollar dogs, and you're wondering what makes a dog a hundred thousand dollars. So. The same thing that makes a t-shirt, you know, from Gucci, a hundred dollars. You know, plain white t-shirt. You and, and what do you say? I can get that from the fucking store, dog. I can get that from the dollar store for five dollars. I mean, not dollar. I can get that from the corner store for five dollars. You know, I can get. I can. But that t-shirt ain't, boy. I can get that same t-shirt at, at at Walmart for seven dollars, bro. I'm not gonna pay that for no for no t-shirt, boy. I'm not paying that. Cool. You don't. Pay, you, you're not gonna pay it. But guess what? There's somebody that is going to pay it. There's somebody that is going to pay it, and, you, and that's what the market you search for. You look in the market of people that, that's looking to pay for that. You know. Now, what makes it worth that overall? Now, for one, it's a rare, it's a rare dog. You know, you call it a fluffy Frenchie. You know, you give it paperwork, and it's rare. Um, now, what makes it that rare? Now, it, it's he's two hundred fifty thousand dollars. His stud fee, his stud fee is thirty five thousand dollars. Meaning, if you want to breed with that dog, you can for thirty five thousand dollars. Now, what do you get out of it? What do you you know? What are you searching for? Why would you breed with this dog? Now, let's say I have a, a dog, and you know. Our real deal. Uh, all right, let's start this play over. My bad. Bam. All right. Boykin, catch the ball, Boykin. Catch the ball. I threw it right in front of the safety's face too. Catch the ball. So you pay thirty-five thousand dollars to breed with this dog, right? Now, your goal is once you breed with this dog, you're trying to get similar dogs that look like this $250,000 dog. You know, that's your goal. Man, I'm trying to, you know. <clears throat> wow. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. Oh. 
That is nuts. You trips. I can't man up these guys. So, good luck. Good luck with this rain. I can't man up these guys. I don't even know why I'm going to try. Um... I just sent the blitz. But so, you know, you pay $35,000 to breed with this dog. When you have puppies, you sell those puppies for $25,000, $35,000, $45,000. Now, the importance of it is, you know, the importance of it is, hey, this is a such and such dog. You know, this is a such and such is his dad. You know, who's his dad? You don't see this? His dad is $250,000. You know, and it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, okay, we get it now. His dad is, you know what I'm saying? Now, that's what the hype is about, pretty much. Why not just keep going and play that rain? Why not? So that's what the hype is about, you know. So once you set your price, you know, once you set your price, come on. Bro, stop the... I, I'm just trying to hit this thing and make them fumble at this point. But once you set your price, you can start charging things whatever you want, bro. As soon as you set your price, that's your price. Can't nobody tell you that that's not your price. You know, as soon as you set your price, that's it. That's what it's going to be. I just can't believe he's running read option on a gun bunch. Just, just... Weirdo shit. Scoot back, please. I have a cloud over there, bro. There's a cloud over there. There's no way you just threw that into a cloud. But but you did. Of course you did. But yeah, so that's what the hype is about. So do I think that dog is worth $250,000? Would I pay $250,000 for it? No, because I'm, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm not in that market. I'm not looking for people that's trying to pay, you know, $25,000, $35,000, $45,000, for a dog. Now, if you can get in that, you know what I'm saying, in that market, you chilling. You know, if you can get in that market to where you can have people bank, uh, paying that for a dog, you're making great money because you understand that. Because eventually you get to understand that, like, it, it doesn't take that much money to manage a dog and it doesn't take you know that much money to it doesn't take that much money you know so you're going to end up making buku amount of money you know what I'm saying but $250,000 is excessive you know it is because it doesn't take that much money to you know maintain and manage a dog you know coming from somebody who has a lot of dogs so if I could find somebody that would pay 25 30, $35,000 for a dog, bro, I would be chilling. You know, I'll be chilling. But once you set your price, like right now, you know what I'm saying? You set your price on something. That's your price. Can't nobody tell you that's not your price. And once you get somebody to buy one time, who is that? Yeah, it's not any speed. Once you get somebody to buy one time, yo, bro, where you get that from? I got from him. What you pay for it? I paid my fucking, you know, ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand? You paid ten thousand dollars? Oh no, nah, hell no. Nah. You paid ten thousand? Oh, thank you. That's right out. That's right out. You paid ten thousand dollars for it? Yeah. Oh hell. Head over to your app store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy: Prize Picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With Flex Play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes' touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with Prize Picks, including Famous Los, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. 
In 2021, Prize Picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, Prize Picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download Prize Picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. I'm so mad. I've been sitting here recording. And I ain't even been recording. And this is a tough opponent. I'm so mad. Like, I re I'm really, like, so mad. I've been sitting here recording. And I haven't even been recording. I'm trying to look at where my record. Oh, there. I have been recording. Wow, when did it stop? Oh, it stopped when I caught the pick six. Wow. Wow. I was about to be so, bro, I was about to be so mad. I was about to be heated. Like, yo, I know I've been sitting here recording. What is going on? I'm glad I caught it because I always check over here to see if my recording is still recording. And I'm so glad. Let me make sure. Yeah, it stopped when I caught the pick six. Wow. Okay, cool. So where where, where did I make where y'all? What didn't y'all hear the question? Go to the running back. Nice. But yeah. So what makes it? What what what's gonna happen with that two hundred fifty thousand dollar dog? Is he's gonna breed that dog, and you know somebody's gonna pay thirty five thousand for a stud fee, and if he produces, if he produces what he's If he produces what he looks like, if he produces what he looks like, that's going to make him a great producer. That's going to make him a great producing dog. Then all of a sudden, now he is worth more. You know, now all of a sudden, that dog is worth way more. You know? I don't like this. Let me get that. Let me get that. It's going to make that dog worth way more money, you know. So he got kids that look like him and grandkids and grandpups and great grandpups that look just like him. That's going to in increase his stock as well, you know. So, and you're probably saying there's no way somebody's going to pay. Oh, my fucking God. I want to punch something. So bad because I I gave that up. I don't, how do you give that up, Rain? How do you give that up? Yeah, you know I'm blocking field goals too, punk ass. I, I respect it though. I definitely respect it. I respect. It. I wasn't paying attention. Like I said, I be talking to y'all and I don't really be locked into these videos. But I knew Darby Parker could play. I not mad he blocked my field goal. I'm not mad he blocked my field goal. I ain't tripping about it. That's a good run. Oh, that's a good run. I'm trying to picture in my head how this game's going to go. He's going to get the ball back at halftime. And he's going to play so conservative, and he might start chewing clock, honestly. He might honestly start chewing clock. I'm telling you, I've played him before. And I know how he play. So I and I was so focused on trying to get that, that outside blitzer to to sack my home that I forgot that I should have just backed them up in the first place. Should just backed my guys up. Wasn't even paying it no attention. It's crazy. Good run, and it would it, it would be dumb for me to get in field goal range and then try to kick a field goal because it's gonna block it and return it, you know. So I that was a touchdown or nothing right there. But yeah, man. So I had uh, R.I.P. Bullet. I had Bullet, who was a Bistro grandson and a Dax grandson as well. So who is Dax? Dax is the best producing bully. Of all time. He's produced the best bullies of all time. Um and if you ask who's Bistro, Bistro is the most winningest bully of all time. When I say 
excuse me, when I say winning is, I mean as far as um, show dogs. So I had a, you know what I'm saying, a bullet grandson. I mean, not a bullet grandson, but a Dax Bistro grandson. And, you know, it was, it was great. There's a cloud right there, Wallace. Talk to me, Wallace. There's a cloud right there. Talk to me, Wallace. There's a cloud right there, boy. Quit fucking playing with me, Darby. Yeah, it was lovely, man. Um, so sad I only got to breed him one time, but he produced his ass off. He produced crazy. He produced, he produced ghosts. I have ghosts now. What is the flag, bro? I, I couldn't be in front of the line. Roughing the passer. Thank you. Quit fucking playing. And catch the ball, dude. What is up with y'all and not catching the ball? That shit's gonna, that shit gonna piss me off. I was about to say, I better had got out of bounds. I want to throw this low ball sit to Austin right in front of this corner's face. But the corner going to pick that shit off. I already know he is. I'm so glad he hung on to that because that's a pressure and accurate because of who? Christopher fucking Jones. Every single time. It's always Chris Jones, bro. Always Chris Jones. Nobody else. Always Christopher Jones. Every time I play the Chiefs, you can drop eight, and Chris Jones is going to get hella pressure by himself. Well, I don't know what kind of run defense this dude got, but it's the best that I've seen. <sighs> let's, just, let's just be honest. Goal line run defense, and the Chiefs ain't even, Chiefs ain't even built like that for real. Chiefs ain't even, Chiefs ain't, Chief D-line ain't even built like that for real. I want to throw the RPO so bad. And he know it too. Look, look, look who it is. Look. The man, the myth, the legend. Christopher fucking Jones. Look, look, I just, y'all, did y'all watch me double team him? I just double teamed him, bro. I literally just double teamed Chris Jones. I ain't never seen Chris Jones like. I didn't see him play like this, but like, bro, what I gotta do? I'm double teaming him. Now I gotta try to find a dot from four yards out with Mitch Trubisky. Hunt the ball, man. Come on! How does he catch it behind me? Come on, man. If I got A-Rod or even Patrick Mahomes right there, that is a fucking dot, dog. Oh, that is that is actually pretty crazy. Oh, that's actually pretty crazy. I just can't score, man. I just can't score, man. That's just all that comes down to. I just can't score. Got in the goal line twice. Got to go on twice and just cannot score. Bro, if Patrick would have made that pass, bro, I would have smacked somebody, dog. Probably one of y'all that's watching this right now. For real. My hands are legit. Don't play like what? We can really D up if y'all want to. Because this dude is just... So this right here is an example of... This is literally just his team being better than mine. This dude is not better than me. I don't care what nobody say. But y'all see the type of passes he's making compared to the type of passes that, I, that I'm trying to make and can't make because my quarterback just can't make them. Your man the... It's Travis Kelsey. That's on me. That's on me. You're manned up, but that's me. That's me. That's me. It's, it's crazy, bro. If I had... I can't even say if I had because the scheme over team. It's supposed to look like this. We supposed to fight with the team that we got no matter the situation. It don't matter. We gotta fight. 
We got to fight no matter what, you know. No matter what, we got to fight. No matter what, this is what this is literally what this is supposed to look like. Yo, bro, can you get a team that's terrible and still compete? That's what this is. And like I told you, what he gonna do? Get up and start running the ball and, and playing weird. Yo, are my adjustments just not going down? I knew this is exactly what he was gonna do. I know how to do play. And play the fucker multiple times. And then under center and sneak a pass with speed. I knew it. I knew it. I ain't mad about it. I knew it. But like I said, once again, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I know how this go. I'm not mad. I know how this go. So nobody can just tackle. Nobody. It's cool. You got to score a touchdown, though, bro. You got to score a touchdown. I ain't tripping. You got to score a touchdown. Got to score a touchdown. You know I ain't no kicking no field goals. I wish, bro, I just wish my D-line with, 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 with multiple superstars on it would just, you know, would just act right. Thank you. There's one of my superstars. I just wish my, my you feel me? My D-line, they got multiple superstars on it. I just wish they would act the fuck right. Like, man. Say it ain't so that, that the, the stars mean nothing. We're all set up, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't going to show you this defense, but we're all set up. Thank you. You had your backside post. You should have threw it because it damn sure was open. Oh, I'm not set up. Make the tackle. Make the fucking tackle. Fuck. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. That just pissed me off. Oh, my God, bro. Speed. Speed, speed, speed. Just running past my guys. My guys are just slow as fuck. Here comes fullback dive with Travis Kelsey. And then shit, you can do about it because he got the air truck. And shit, you can do about it because he has the air truck. Maybe I should have been getting him in fullback dive. Come on, re run it. Come on, run it again. Run it again. Fuck it. Make the tackle. There we go. Talk to Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is not a crazy game. I don't know what it is. We get to stop right here. I'm going to win this game. And I don't care what nobody say. We get to stop right here. I'm going to win this game. I ain't worried about none of that you running over there. We're not worrying about that. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. We're not worrying about none of that. GG, this is my ball game. This is my shit. This is my shit. This is my ball game, baby. Come on. I wish I could have scooped and scored that right there. Ooh, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Is that what I got to do? Motion, motion, motion run? Is that the only way we're going to get? Is that the only way we're going to get Chris Jones blocked? Great ball. Remember now, I can't, I mean, I couldn't kick a field goal anyway, but I got to get down the field. I have to get down this field somehow, some way. And these little dunks ain't gonna get it done. But shit, they're gonna have to. He gonna give me that crosser one time.
Why a 32 bolt and why are you carrying that, bro? You have no need, you have no reason to be carrying that. Like no reason at all to be carrying that after I playmaker. Stay in. There we go. Get out. Do we get out? We got out. Perfect. All right, his chest is beating out of his chest. His chest is beating right now. I know it is. It, it better be. <laughs> yeah, you got out of that. Come on. Oh, why did I switch quarterbacks? I feel like Trubisky would have got that out a little bit faster. Ah. Uh. It's cool. Trust me. It's cool. Block Christopher Jones. Where are you throwing the ball, bro? Oh my god. What are you? I done fucked up, man. Bro, where are you throwing? Neo. Bro, I want y'all to go back. I, I want, I'm, I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show y'all this. It literally said pressure inaccurate, bro. Under pressure inaccurate. It literally did. And I'm gonna show y'all something, bro. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm not even finna. This game's over with. But I'm gonna show y'all something. And I hope he running back. I hope he search again. Cause he cannot beat me. He cannot fucking beat me. That is crazy. I want. I want to show y'all something. I really do. It said. Under pressure inaccurate, and I'm gonna show y'all how crazy Chris Jones is. Because I did double team Chris Jones. I did. I did. I double teamed Chris Jones. I want to show y'all something. Now look at this. He is double teamed. Chris Jones is double teamed. He breaks the double team. We are still double teaming him. Can somebody tell me where the pressure is, bro? I mean, honestly, like seriously. Is that a, is this a bad read? Who's right here? Who is right here? He's not. That's that's an easy read. Yes, I could have threw it here. Yes, I could have threw it. But this is an easy read. Where's the pressure at, bro? Please. Can somebody please tell me where the pressure is? I'm going to let the play run smooth. Come on, bro. Let's, let's, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Under pressure, inaccurate. Come on, bro. Let's, let's be real, bro. Then he caught an interception. What? Down here on the goal line? Right here, bro. Behind me. Now, mind you. Oh, my God. Look at the tight end. If I put him on a vertical, that's an easy throw. But he's running the out route. So, this, he's going to throw it on the out route regardless. Running back. Probably could have threw that and got in the end zone. Maybe. Maybe could have threw it right now. If I got A-Rod, I can make that pass and get in there. But if he's on a vertical, I can throw that right there. But he's not. Can't throw this. Can't throw that right there. Bam. I threw it in this hole right here. Nice little gap right there. Oh my God. He ain't. Okay. Okay. I can't be mad about that. But I can be mad about the throw. Because if he throw a low ball right here, then we catch that. But okay. Can't be mad about that. He just. He just suction cupped to it watching fast motion. <laughs> he just yeep. He went from standing still to yeep. It's cool. Can't be mad about it, bro. Can't be mad about it. That was a hell of a game. Um Man, that was just disrespectful how they just dumbed me though, bro. That's disrespectful. Steelers, man. Oh, I should have showed out the fourth down down there. It don't it don't matter. I should have won that game. That is crazy. Darby Party is ranked number five. Um, 1,080 win, 368 losses. It's a very impressive record. Very, very, very impressive record. Did not know he was ranked number five, but GG's Darby. But I will say this. If I don't have the Steelers, I lose a scheme over team, but you see how hard he had to fight versus the Steelers? 
if I got somebody like any, that's this is why scheme over team is so hard because you match up with good people like this with a shitty team and they got their best team. But I will say, if I got somebody, anybody with speed, just a little bit more speed, dog. Darby, it's a GG, bro. I would have cut that ass. But you won, though, so hey, GG's. Hey, Blair, wait. Oh, yeah.